What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and it's Top 10 Thursday. I was just playing a little bit of my Nintendo 3DS and marveling how incredible this system is. Did you know that this is actually one of the fastest selling handhelds of all time? And for good reason. It has hundreds of amazing games. Whether you like fighters, RPGs, strategy games, or just a platformer, anything you want is on this system. So this week, just for fun, I figured I'd do the impossible and try and count down my picks of the top 10 3DS games. Number 10, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It seems Mario's little brother just can't seem to stay out of trouble. In this game, Luigi is given the frightening mission of capturing a bunch of pesky ghosts with his spirit-eating vacuum cleaner. They won't be giving up without a fight though, so it's up to you to chase them through several different cleverly themed mansions. While exploring all these dark, spooky levels, there's a strong sense of humor subtly weaved throughout the game. It keeps you smiling even while you're just solving puzzles. Watching Luigi shiver and shake as he tries to grab his next big boo is fun for hours. Number 9. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate being a world-saving hero can be tough, especially when the creatures you're up against are the size of buildings. Monster Hunter is all about one thing, the thrill of the fight. Say you get a quest to track down a nearby beast that's been eating villagers. Finding the monster won't be hard, killing it on the other hand is a bit more complicated. In order to take this mammoth down, my friends and I all had to work in very close unison. We had to surround him and take turns hopping onto his back and cutting away at his weak point. You might think that this is a boss battle, but it's not. Monster Hunter 4 is built so that every single fight is epic. You need to constantly keep in mind that each new bounty that you collect could be your last if you're not careful. Number 8. Animal Crossing New Leaf Imagine a game that has no points, no levels, and not even a real objective, and yet is still somehow ridiculously addictive. In Animal Crossing, you've just been elected mayor of a tiny town full of quirky residents. The primary focus of this game is all about keeping the people of your city happy and at the same time collecting items. On your first day here, a man named Tom Nook offers to buy you a house as long as you pay him back. Now that you have a place to sleep, you need to get to work. In this world, you can literally sell anything, so you can just catch fish, dig holes for plants, or search for rare fossils and pawn all of it off for cash. By paying off your debts, you can earn a bigger home and more cool customization options for your town. It's strangely satisfying to construct the perfect city through time and dedication. I do secretly think that that guy who keeps selling me houses is a con artist though. Seriously dude, stop making me borrow money. Number 7. Pokemon X and Y For years now, Poke fans have been begging for a 3D Pokemon game. To finally have a full, immersive experience where we can live out our dreams of being a Pokemon master. The developers over at Game Freak have heard our cries and done amazing work creating a major overhaul of the series, both graphically and mechanically. The main appeal of this franchise has always been interacting with others. Trading monsters, trying to build the perfect team of adorable badasses, and facing off against other trainers. In X and Y, they've added in a lot of online options to make these things more accessible than ever. You can now choose to swap random Pokemon, give people random boosters to improve their stats, or straight up duel with other opponents. Another thing they did really well is bring back a lot of the old Pokemon and mix them in with a lot of these new creatures they've invented. As someone who hasn't played this series in years, I thought this was a really smart way to blend together all the different generations, to really shake up the formula and give gamers something fresh to dig into. Number 6. Shovel Knight it's time to embark on a very unique adventure. Mixing together elements from 8-bit classics of the past, Shovel Knight brings retro charm to the modern day. This title is a perfect example of how smart level design can make your game legendary. Like many games of the NES era, the difficulty can be steep, but with practice, this game rewards your patience. For example, at one point I was running next to this castle. It was very dark. In fact, the only time I could see is when lightning struck. 
giant gaps were in the floor, so I had to wait to make my move. But if that wasn't bad enough, there were actually skeletons hiding in the shadows as well. I had to time every move perfectly. If I messed up at all, I could fall to my death. Instead of being frustrating though, it was actually quite fun. Just when you think you can't get any further, suddenly you'll unlock another special ability that lets you go just a little bit past where you were before. The only way to survive in Shovel Knight is to be tough, fight smart, and be ready to have your gaming skills tested. Number 5. Bravely Default if there's one thing Square Enix is known for, it's their long history of groundbreaking JRPGs, but Bravely Default opens up a whole new chapter in storytelling. Welcome to a world that's trapped in eternal night. The crystals that hold all of nature in balance are losing power. It's up to us to find a way to recharge them and bring light back to the world. You may notice a lot of similarities to Final Fantasy. Combat is turn-based, the art is great, and our characters are embarking on a truly epic journey. Perhaps what stands out the most about this game is what's called the Brave System. When a fight breaks out, your party members can choose to attack the foe or save up turns. By using the Brave option, you can store up to three moves to execute a massive super combo. For some bosses, this is almost mandatory. If an enemy keeps healing itself and you're not able to just whittle it down, you can have your entire team store up their full power and take him out in one huge barrage. When you add that together with the class system, you suddenly have a lot of creative ways to carry out every battle. I really respect that the developers were able to make a game that is so complex and yet so easy to pick up and enjoy. Number 4. Super Smash Bros. 3DS of all the creative ideas Nintendo has thrown together over the decades, nothing can compare to the sheer insanity of Smash Bros. Never in my life did I think I would see Cloud from Final Fantasy VII beating the crap out of the dog from Duck Hunt. With over 50 playable fighters, there's a lot of ways you can choose to play, and learning each character's best moves is only the beginning. This game is all about competition, about figuring out the most brutal way to pummel your foes into oblivion. With the ability to play couch co-op or online, you can always find somebody ready to face off against. When you want to try something different, you can dig into one of the side modes, like Smash Run. This has you battling through a maze while also trying to grab power-ups and race for the finish line. This is just all around a damn good fighting game, and the fact that it's now possible to carry it in our pockets is outstanding. Number 3. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D the entire Legend of Zelda series is built upon a sense of wonder, of discovery. It reminds you that the best adventures are the ones we make for ourselves. Ocarina of Time is hailed by many as perhaps one of the best games ever made. It follows Link, a small boy given the heavy job of saving the world from the evil clutches of Ganondorf. Although the goal is straightforward, the real appeal comes from discovering all the grand secrets of the Kingdom of Hyrule. From small things like doing your bow training or trying to find the Great Fairy, to big things like exploring the depths of a volcano in the Fire Temple. Each time you play, a great new quest awaits you. I'll always remember the first time I got my hook shot by beating a ghost in a foot race. Using it to zip around the forest temple or goofing off with it in town made me feel like a green tunic wearing Batman. I loved the original Nintendo 64 version of this game, but seeing it on 3DS with the updated graphics makes this classic even better. Number 2. Super Mario 3D Land Over the years, we have had a lot of Mario titles come out, but this is one platformer that leaps over the heads of all the rest. During the opening movie, we see Bowser has somehow nabbed Princess Peach for the 50th time, and now our red-hatted hero must once again make off to rescue her. As soon as you're dropped into the first map, it's hard not to notice that this game is constantly toying with your perceptions. While it is primarily 3D, it will twist the camera around in interesting ways, like making it look completely 2D for one portion, and then suddenly putting the camera directly above you so you can see how big the drop beneath you is. I really like that all the levels are 5 minutes long, it gives them a lot more chances to twist the gameplay around and keep you on your toes. For the ultra dedicated players, you can also unlock extra worlds by collecting special hidden coins that are tucked into each level. These bonus stages can be ruthlessly hard, but still expertly made. This is genuinely my favorite Mario game ever released on any console. It takes all the best moments of every Mario game and rolls them into one marvelous experience. 
Number one, Fire Emblem Awakening. Even if you don't normally play strategy games, Fire Emblem is something everyone should try out at least once. Our tale begins with the dark dragon Grima attempting to destroy reality. A lone hero stands up to him with a sacred blade and manages to defeat him, forcing him to slumber for a thousand years. Jump forward to modern day and now strange events are beginning to occur. War is breaking out everywhere and even longtime allies are killing each other in the streets. This is where we come in. You get to create your own custom character and build an army of the strongest warriors in the land. Land. Each mission has specific objectives. At one point, you're protecting a queen from assassins. Next, you're trying to break into a stronghold of a rival warlord. And then the next moment, you could be trying to defend your army from a legion of zombies. What makes this game so memorable is it actually has an option that you can turn on that'll make death permanent. This makes it so if one of your fighters is defeated, they stay dead forever. If it's somebody you've really grown attached to with a great personal story, it can actually be almost painful when they die. It adds an interesting layer of depth to even the smallest skirmishes. Everything about this game just works phenomenally. For its awesome combat system, great art style, and fantastic story, I am awarding this my pick as the absolute must-play 3DS game. Did your favorite game not make the list? Got an idea for a future top 10? Leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.